School Basketball Showcase. Presented by Buick. Even 3,000 miles from home, wherever Sierra Canyon goes, the crowds follow. And today they match up with Paul VI from Fairfax, Virginia. And today it's also where LeBron James follows to see Bronny and the rock stars of high school basketball. LeBron and the Lakers playing the Celtics in Boston about two hours away tonight. First, checking out his son, Bronny. But Sierra Cannon is a lot more than just Bronny James, Paul B. and Cardi. How about a top five talent in the country, Zaire Williams? Yeah, one of the best unsigned players in the class. A multi-dimensional scorer. He's got deep range. Can beat you off the bounce. Score at the rim. He's got a little bit of Jonathan Isaac in his game. Long, athletic, and skilled. Same type of hairdo. Zaire Williams down to seven schools, one of the top undecided players in the country and playing his senior year with Sierra Canyon, transferring from Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame High School. On the other side, you have a point guard headed to Duke in Jeremy Roach. Jeremy Roach is a speedy scoring point guard, a playmaker who loves to set up his teammates. He can drop buckets when he needs to. Really athletic, good on ball defender for Paul the Sixth. Sierra Canyon is in the white. Paul the Sixth in the black. Our second of four games at the Spalding Hoopal Classic here in Springfield, Massachusetts. Ted Emmerich, Paul Biancardi, Adam Finkelstein, our entire crew, more than 2,500 on hand just to get a glimpse of Sierra Canyon, which again has drawn crowds of 10,000, 13,000, and 17,000 in game so far this season. Here is Zaire Williams pulling the trigger from the elbow. On the run, Trevor Keels in the ESPN 60, the junior class, and he is fouled 35th to be exact in the ESPN 60. Now we talk a lot about Sierra Canyon, and we should. They're so talented and gifted. But for Paul the Sixth, this guy at the free throw, free throw line, excuse me, Trevor Keels, terrific shot maker. Getting offers by the ACC, SEC. He can put a team on his back and get a win against anybody. He's that good. Now, talking with Paul the Sixth coach Glenn Farello coming in, he said Keels and Roach were so excited for this particular matchup. All the eyeballs will be on this game because it's Sierra Canyon. They want to show what they have in their back. Well, they really have to show out defensively. It, it's got to be good, tight man to man defense. They have to challenge at the rim and block out. Taryn Frank headed to TCU, ranked 79th in the ESPN 100 with Sierra Canyon's first bucket. High floater, no, from Nasir Doug McDaniel. Harold Yu, 7-3 from China, the rebound. Amari Bailey on the run, and B.J. Boston lays it in, the future Kentucky Wildcat. The reason why they got such great finishers, and they throw that outlet so quick. Yu, the turnaround, that drops in. The other thing Sierra Canyon loves to do is Mari Bailey. Offensive rebound, Zaire Williams. And Williams has a bucket. Sierra Canyon just comes at you with athleticism and length and extreme skill. And now trying to trap Nasir McDaniel. Knocked that out of bounds. It'll stay with All important middle game, and he's got the three ball. That's why he's so hard to guard. Austin had 17 points and 10 assists in that win on Saturday. Amari Bailey, top 10 sophomore in the country with the layup. Well, guys, we talked about what a phenomenon this Sierra Canyon team, but it goes to a brand new level when the king himself walks in. It was preceded by virtually the entire police department from the city of Springfield. The crowd went quiet. All of a sudden, he walks in, and very literally everyone in this building stood up, pulled out their cell phones, and tried to capture a moment of just a dad coming to watch his son play. It is all part of this enormous spectacle that has surrounded this loaded Sierra Canyon team all season long, and it has been nothing short of an incredible spectacle here this weekend at the Hoopaw Classic. And again, Sierra Canyon has been everywhere. This year, eight different states outside of their home state of California. Up to Minneapolis, Columbus, Ohio. What a moment that was for Bronny playing so well in front of Dad, who was there courtside.
played in Virginia at a tournament, and now here in Massachusetts, home of the Basketball Hall of Fame, where LeBron will certainly be. He could have his own wing. Josiah Freeman following the missed layup by McDaniel. It's so difficult to see the rim and finish. You have Harold Yu, 11 in the white, standing in the paint. He's 7 3. Roach and air ball, and Sierra Canyon is running again. Three right. on two. Bailey blocked, but Zaire Williams with the follow. That's something that Sierra Canyon does real well. They run the floor to get second chance opportunities. Freeman, a three ball. Just the second made field goal for Paul the sixth. They're now two of 13. Sierra come, Canyon comes at you quickly. Bailey to Boston. People. Sierra makes open shots. Doesn't look for his play. He looks for the right play. He's locked in, he's focused. He's got a good basketball IQ. Sometimes he does run the point, so he's got to initiate offense. Inside Boston, B.J. Boston, an underrated part of his game is his work on the offensive glass. Yeah, he does get on the glass. He's not strong, but he is long. And I think that's where Bronny James is going to be groomed for, the point guard position. Going reverse side, and the bucket for Paul the sixth. I mean, Bronny has terrific passing vision, and he's so unselfish to give it up. He reads the game so well, and he fits with his teammates. Christian May had the bucket for Paul the sixth. Bronny James off target. Tapped back out to James. Jensen the deflection. Here's Doug McDaniel. Zaire Williams with the block. What a block by Zaire Williams. Boston finger roll off the window. Count it with a foul. So sweet from BJ Boston. That got LeBron off his feet. He's got a rest. He's got a big game tonight against the Celtics. Zaire Williams with the chase down. B.J. Boston with the finger roll. He reminds me of, wow, look at that reaction. One of six top 50 recruits in the class of 2020 going to Kentucky. Oh, Jeremy Roach, an explosion at the rim for the Duke signee. Jeremy Roach missed a lot of time in the game with an ACL tear. He's back, he's healthy, and he's as strong as ever. Williams the turnaround. Williams got it back. No, the tip in, yes. It doesn't count. That was in the cylinder. Check out this by Jeremy Roach. The one-handed punch. He's headed to Duke. Sports Center top 10. Take a look at this. This weekend here at Springfield. Yeah, that, that mileage, that travel wears you out, whether you're an NBA player or a high school player. I'll tell you what, Harold Yu. Sierra Canyon, 15 yeah, he, in the white. Yeah, he is the super glue guy for the Trailblazers. Bronny gives it up. Mari Bailey out to Boston, wide open look. A three ball for number three. He's got nine. Frank to loosen up the pressure on Bronny to start the offense. Roach. No, tip in by Jack Jensen, a 6'7 junior. Boston sprinting ahead. Acrobatic move, not even close. Frame in the lob. Keels puts it home for Paul the sixth. Nice offensive transition for Paul the sixth. And a timeout. And watch out for Bryce Maximus, Ronnie's younger brother. I'm glad the King agrees with me. You just you, you need that stapled to your business card. Look out here, Roach just lays it in. Uh, the crowd's disappointed. There were some boos right behind us. They wanted another dunk. Yeah, watching LeBron in high school when I was at Ohio State as a freshman and a sophomore. Another nice move by Harold Yu. You can see how special LeBron was going to be. By the time he became a junior in the high school game, the NBA was calling his name. No, I meant NCAA. Oh, that too. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to help you out. I get you. Right? But he does love the Buckeyes. Count the three. Trevor Keels plus the foul. A chance at a four-point play. 
Kale's one of the best juniors in the country. He's got a deadly jump shot, so you have to get out on him. You have to close out, get a hand up. He understands when he's open, he's going to launch it, and that's a sign of a guy who's put a lot. Kale's looking for another three. He drains this one. We're tied at 25. And that is a quick trigger for the big body guard. Bailey's in trouble. Williams, strong move to the basket. But right down the floor is Doug McDaniel. That's his nickname that he prefers, D-U-G, not D-O-U-G, McDaniel. Boston missing from the perimeter. Roach off the window, pull the sixth, is in front. So number one headed to Duke. Now Williams from the outside. A splash from three-point territory. Sierra Keels falling away against Bailey. Oh, Keels sticking with it. Trevor Keels was the WCAC Co-Player of the Year last season as a sophomore. He was the leader with always looking for his teammates, even in high school, that has carried, obviously, to the NBA. And this year, shot clock violation as Amari Bailey didn't put it up. LeBron leads the NBA in assists, almost 11 per game. But he always could think the game why he played the game. And that, that's when he knew when to play on the ball, knew when to gamble. Keels, short this time. Loose ball. Shy Odom hitting the deck. Amari Bailey the steal. Three on one. Bailey does it himself. That's Number one. six player in the sophomore class. And a man defense by Paul the six. They, they get up into the ball. They're helping each other. They're active with their hands. It's good team defense going on right now. Bailey, feet set. Boston again on the offensive glass. And that's where he hurts so many teams. And Sierra Canyon does a strong job attacking the offensive glass. 12 for Boston. Open look at a three ball for senior Christian May. Paul the sixth regains the lead. When you play in the WCAC, now you may not see this type of talent, but you are in some intense battles with a lot of talent. Roach speeding ahead, lost control, final seconds. Off the window, no good. Well, Sierra Canyon might be the show with Bronny James and his dad, LeBron, in the house. But Paul the Sixth leads at the break, 35-34. LeBron enjoying the action here in Springfield. And yeah, getting up when B.J. Boston had the three-point play in the first half. Here is Roach, kicks it out, McDaniel. Offensive rebound, Josiah Freeman, and he flips it in. But that whole possession started because of Jeremy Roach. Quick penetration and a fast pitch out. Mari Bailey couldn't lay it in. Running out, Keels, the layup. Paul the sixth with two quick buckets in the first 40 seconds. Not many teams want to run with Sierra Canyon. Paul the sixth, they defend first, they run second. They're not afraid to push it. They got great speed. This is a team that is unafraid to say the least. Coming up with another steal, McDaniel the layup. A six to nothing run in the first minute of the third quarter. Paul the Sixth, the beat IMG Academy earlier this season, who we had last night on ESPN against Montford. Again, Paul the Sixth comes from the same conference as DeMatha, which won our first game today on ESPNU. And we talked about the basket there, Paul. Excuse me, we talked about the great players from the WCAC. Sierra Canyon with four ESPN ranked players on the floor. And 7-3 junior, Harold Yu, here he is. Down low, Zaire Williams. The one-legged fade. And that's the versatility in his game. Roach 
right down the floor for two more. Sierra Canyon got returned to Team Takeover this summer, but program director Keith Stevens said, nope, I'm not gonna risk it. We already won one, and his long-term future is the most important thing. Team Takeover didn't repeat, but he is fully healthy and doing his thing again here. That says a lot about Keith Stevens. Amari Bailey with the basket for Sierra Canyon after Roach set up his teammate. One in the black, Jeremy Roach. How about the way he just gathers it? Oh, out to nobody, and Nasir McDaniel has it. He lays it in. Five now for the sophomore. And off we go. Oh, nice. Harold, you, the stuff. Tap the head, LeBron. You with the jam. Well, they set a cross screen for Harold Yu. Nice catch gather and a strong finish, left no doubt. LeBron wanted the fall. <laughs> you tried to save it. Instead, Coleman picked it up for Paul the sixth. Under a minute in the third. Fresh shot clock for the Panthers. McDaniel over Bronny James. He stuck it in his eye. Great improvement. Seven to shoot. A five-second difference, shot clock, game clock. Roach almost lost his balance. May from the corner. That swirls in for three. Boston beyond half court. Paul the sixth carries an eight-point lead to the fourth quarter. Led by the dynamic backcourt of Trevor Keels and Jeremy Roach. That's a sports center top ten assist. Falling down, putting it on the money. Paul the sixth End of the first quarter. When Sierra Canyon led by five. And it's been the defense. Paul the sixth has played terrific team defense. BJ Boston again, a terror on the offensive glass. Don't forget. And Keels just put his body into Zaire Williams. Roach is trying to post up. Instead, Keels to the perimeter, and Tyler Coleman nails the three. Keels and Roach are controlling this game, both as scorers and as playmakers. Tell you what, if we can get a replay of that, Trevor Keels made that play happen because he got open. Look at the defense by Paul the sixth. Nice job by Boston to move it ahead, and you drops it home. Yeah. Sarah Canyon always have been a good passing team. Roach with the screen. Guarded by Bronny. Finding Keels down low. What a feed by Roach. The top of the key. He splits this ball screen hedge by you. And then he finds his teammate on a back cut. Shades of Chris Paul. Williams vacuums it in. Sierra Canyon has numbers. Boston the layup. And one. BJ Boston will not go quietly. Well, that's Sierra Canyon. Williams best. vacuums it in. Sierra Canyon has numbers. Boston the layup. And one. B.J. Boston will not go quietly. Well, that's Sierra Canyon basketball at its finest. Good defense by you. Zaire Williams competes, gets, gets it, pushes it. Sees his teammate and right to the rack at home. Should have gave him shoes instead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's allowed, Paul. Late in the shot clock, that's a travel on great, Roach. Yeah, great defense. Throw it out. And especially in this game, you at 7-3, Jack Jensen guarding him right now, 6-7. Williams against Keels, this is fun. A brick, you the offensive rebound. Harold, you working hard on the interior. Sierra Canyon within two. McDaniel. Freeman retreats with it. 20 on the shot clock. Time to let Roach go to work. Guarded by Boston. Duke and Kentucky facing off. Keels drills the three. Mass 
offensive shot for Paul the sixth. That's how Trevor Kills beats you. Look out. Roach breaking the hammer out of the bag. What a swing. The three by Keels. The steal and the dunk by Roach. Williams, so smooth. Timeout, Sierra Canyon. How about Jeremy Roach finding his teammate, Trevor Keels, for the knockdown shot and maybe the knockout punch in this game. Jeremy Roach, as good as it gets on the defensive end. Everybody was locked in. Now they have to get a quality look. Not much time left. Bailey. Oh, it's over and back. McDaniel's defense forcing the turnover. Final minute, five point lead. That's the 24th turnover by Sierra Canyon, which comes up with a takeaway here. Bailey in transition. Now on the layup. But free throws coming for Amari Bailey. Everyday effort. The physicalness and the tools are all there. All right, 54 seconds. Paul the six on the pass ahead. Keels to Roach. And the layup. Beautifully executed. A lot of coaches like to call that the home run play. Everybody sucks up to the ball. They send one deep. Williams from distance. Rebound Trevor Keels. And a foul with 34.9 remaining. What a play by head coach Glenn Farello. Well, take care, LeBron, on his way to Boston. Got one more foul to give for Sierra Canyon. But you got to give it. Roach fouled as he was about to lay it in. 27.9 seconds remaining. It's Bronny at the other end. And Roach will be at the line for Paul. For freshman. Williams all the way, driving kick, Bronny James. Keels the rebound. And a foul with 17 seconds from Zaire Williams. Back to the home run pass. Yeah, watch this little fake back screen by Jeremy Roach. He goes long. That's called home run. Everybody coming to the ball, trying to get a steal or a deflection. Keels heads out, 24 points to lead all scorers. B.J. Boston the flip for Sierra Canyon. Now 20 for Boston to lead the Trailblazers. For Sierra Canyon, every gym you go into, the bullseye is huge. They'll regroup. They have talent, good coaching, but they have to understand they're taking everyone's best shot every game. Well, the bullseye is huge on Sierra Canyon. Paul the sixth hitting the target today at the Spalding Who Paul Classic, led by Nasir McDaniel, Jeremy Roach, and Trevor Keels. The Panthers from Fairfax, Virginia, knock off the biggest attraction in high school basketball, 70 to 62, the final score with LeBron in attendance before he and the Lakers play the Celtics tonight in Boston. Paul the sixth victorious as they hand Sierra Canyon just their third loss of the season. Jeremy Roach, our East Bay player of the game. The point guard headed to Duke. Ranked 22nd in the ESPN 100. And beg your pardon. Being told that Trevor Keels is our East Bay player of the game. Really, you could split the award. Keels leading all scorers today with 24 points. 7 of 15 from the field, including three threes, also five rebounds and three assists. That was a dagger three late for Paul the Sixth.